about earlier, I heard him on the radio, he was running for Congress against um, Kevin Yoder, and I'd been to a, um, I'd been to a, one of those Yoder uh, town halls, I was very unimpressed after volunteering for him, so I just, I just, I agree with him on, on most everything, he's a true patriot, he's a retired lieutenant, um, army retired lieutenant colonel, and he's got some great stuff that he wants to say, so let's give it up for Greg Good. Thank you, Lisa. Who here is ready to fight? Yeah. Who here is ready to fight? Yeah. I get out of my car this morning. I've got my Trump signs. I got my hat on. 30 something looks at me in the parking lot and he says, Hey, are you guys crazy? You already won. Why are you still doing this? And I looked at him and I said, The fight has just begun. Yeah. Yeah. Countless examples throughout history, and I'm going to give you one from my own personal history. Yes, I'm a retired Army guy. Started out as an enlisted guy, did seven years of that. They decided to commission me. Probably a mistake on their part, but... <laughs> here I am, a brand new lieutenant, showing up at the 1st Infantry Division. Duty first. The commanding general, Gordon R. Sullivan, looks at all of his brand new first lieutenants. We're all proud, sporting their black and gold Ranger tabs. We're ready to go out there and do something for our country. And he looks at us and he says, if you're ready to fight, you've come to the right place. And we all just were there in shock. We're like, did, did anybody create a war yesterday that we don't know about? I mean, what, what is he exactly talking about? He was talking about the same battle that Donald Trump is facing. Amen. What he was talking about is the same battle that he was handed off to us as lieutenants. And that's what every one of you are that showed up today. You're a lieutenant. You guys are in the trenches, and you're ready to fight. Yeah. This fight is against the bureaucracy. Yeah. This fight is against the cartels. I mean, you name them. It's either the pharmaceuticals, the oil, you name them. All these guys. I mean, you've seen countless, countless depictions of the top 1% that control 43% of the wealth of this nation. Now, what can Donald J. Trump do about this? He can do a lot, and he started doing it. What can we do? We can fight. We can fight today, we can fight tomorrow, we can continue to fight for the next four years. But the bottom line is on January 20, 20th of this year, that fight started. And we are just getting started. Our first rally today, Amazing, absolutely amazing turnout. But to echo some of the comments from Dave earlier, everybody here needs to bring 10 more people. 10 more people, that's all. Now for me, I've got 11 grandkids. Guess what we're doing next time? I got that one covered. Now, I want to tell you the other thing too. We need to get the 30-somethings here. The 30-somethings. When I looked at this young man, I said, hey, how much is your health care? He says, well, I paid this amount. No, I said, no, 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 you, you're talking about health insurance. How much is your health care? He looked at me. He's like, um, I'm not sure what you're talking about. When was the last time you went to the doctor, I asked him. He says, well, uh, you know, my wife went such and such time. And, uh, oh, by the way, uh, we haven't met our $1,500 deductible yet. So and I said, so bottom line is you're paying all this for health insurance and you have no health care. None. I can show you another set of folks from Shawnee, Kansas. Mom and pop printer shop, make $100,000 a year. They love their business. Paying $13,000 a year for insurance, and they got a $7,000 deductible. Do the math. $20,000 is what it's costing them for health insurance. Mom and pop. Now, the top 1% is not worried about this. Our politicians, I mean, look where they are today. Where are your elected leaders today? Where are they on any given day? We see the Vice President, we see Speaker Ryan, we see the folks that are in their obligatory positions based on their current status of power. But where are our elected leaders when it comes out and are they standing with our President, the 45th President of the United States, Donald J. Trump? Where are they? That's what we're sending the message to. When we hang our banners on the side of the highway, we're sending the banner and telling them, you know what? Our politicians may not stand with you, but we are standing with you because we, we are ready to fight. 
When I talked to Lisa a couple of weeks ago, and I, she said, okay, well, here we're going to do it this place, we're going to get to do it this place, and what echoed in my mind was a comment from our current representative from Overland Park. And what he told us, what he told us all was that, don't forget, Hillary Clinton won Johnson County. Hillary Clinton won Johnson County. And I looked at it. Then I looked at it. And I just said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hillary didn't win anything the last time I looked. What did she win? Absolutely nothing. So when our politicians are out there, you need to go to every meeting. You need to go to your school board meetings. You need to go to your city council meetings. You need to go to your Lions Club. You need to go to every civic organization out there and make sure they know who won the presidency. Who did we vote for? Donald J. Trump. And we're not going away. We are here. And oh, by the way, the fight has just begun.